Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about motivation, specifically how to be more motivated. Because to me, I think it's a really cool thing to look at. You know, like when you feel motivated, you like you go out, you have all this energy, you get stuff done, you, you achieve your goals, and when you don't feel motivated, things feel really hard and really heavy, and it takes so much effort to do anything. So before I get into how I think one can be more motivated, I want to look at the myths of motivation. So to me, I think one of the big myths of motivation is that it's a personality trait. Like, wow, this person's just really motivated all the time. Like, I think for me, I've noticed times when I've been really motivated and times when I've been not. I don't think it has anything to do with my personality. It definitely seems more, I think, fluid. So let's take that off the table. Like, motivation is not part of one's personality. I think when we think about motivation, a lot of people think about you know, pain and pleasure, you know, like we think about, okay, to motivate yourself to get something, you have to pick something that will give you a lot of pleasure and like for like a gold medal or lots of money or lots of sex or, you know, job raises and then I'll push myself to get that thing so I can be happy when I get it. And the other way is um, pain, you know, I, I need to be running away from something all the time to be motivated to do it. If I don't run and exercise, I'm going to get sick. If I don't work hard, I'm not going to get that gold medal. Or if I don't um, work hard on my job, I'm not going to get that promotion, you know. And I think running away from something is really tiring. Like, while that might work, I don't think it's a rule, so we'll take that off the table. And I, th and so those are, I think, to me, that what occurred to me are the two myths. And so, so let's get down to it. How do you become more motivated? How do you tap into that good feeling? And so actually, that's the secret. So to me. A really helpful way to look at how to be more motivated is to look at what is take is take another look and see what motivation is actually made out of. So to me, like I can't there are a lot of leaves around. Like I can't give you this magic motivation leaf. Like if you take this, you will be more motivated to do everything you've always wanted to do. Like it's not a thing. It's it's a feeling. And so what I've noticed about feelings that feel very motivating is is they come and go, and oftentimes I don't really control them. So if I can't control motivation, then what? Then how do I get more of it? This is what I've noticed about motivation to date. I've noticed that there are things that I really want to do and there are things that I just don't want to do. The things that I really want to do, I've never ever needed motivation. When I was a Taekwondo player, I was training three hours a day and I was traveling an hour to, to and back to training an hour, both two hours a day. To, so five hours of my day was dedicated to Taekwondo training. And those three hours I was getting beat up, I was exhausted, I was tired, but I loved every moment of training. I loved competition, I loved getting my ass kicked, I loved winning, and, and I was really okay with losing too. I was just really happy to be in the game. And, and not once did I ever think about needing to motivate myself to do those things because I really wanted to do it. Isn't that interesting? The things you really want to do, genuinely want to do from your heart, you don't need any motivation. You just want to do it. Um, the easiest example comes from my mentor, Michael Neal, who, who shared this when he talked about motivation is, you ever notice, like, he asked, he asked the class, like, who here has ever needed motivation to eat ice cream or pizza? Raise your hands. Like, nobody raised their hands, which is true, right? Like, have you ever needed motivation to eat your favorite foods? Like, I've never eaten motivation to eat ice cream or pizza. Like, I love that stuff. And so, looking back, it's really interesting to see, just notice that the things I really tried to motivate myself to do were the things I really didn't want to do. And one would think, well, you have to do those things, because if you don't do those things, you're not going to be successful, or you're not going to achieve the thing. What if, big what if, what if you not wanting to do it is a sign to reflect and slow down and take another look? Yeah, what if it's a sign that maybe Maybe, maybe instead of trying to force yourself to do something you don't want to do, what if it's a sign for you to take a look at what are the other things you do want to do right now? Um, a client story comes to mind. I was coaching a client who was a drug and alcohol addiction specialist, and he was really talented. He had all these years of experience, incredible, incredible stories. And I really wanted him to share these stories on YouTube as, a, as part of his marketing strategy. And he wrote down tons and tons of content ideas and titles and stories. Like, I was really looking forward to it. And what occurred was 
he he just wasn't doing the videos. He he didn't he wasn't doing the 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 filming them. And at first I thought, okay, maybe he's not motivated, right? There's a key, and maybe I need to push him harder. And, and I quickly realized that the harder I pushed him, the more he didn't want to do it. And then when we really reflected on like what's really holding him up, he said that filming YouTube videos is incredibly overwhelming for him and he doesn't really want to do it. And what occurred next was don't do the videos then. And instead, he, he instead of trying to make himself do something he didn't want to do, he, he, divided his, he diverted his time, attention, and energy into writing because that's where his heart really wanted to go. And I think that's it. By really listening to yourself, you notice where your heart really wants to go. You start picking up on your natural desires. And when you follow your natural desires, you don't really need motivation to do those things. And one might argue like, well, what about exercise? Like I need to get exercise to be healthier. I need to motivate myself. I don't feel motivated. I would take another look at why you don't want to exercise. What about exercising makes you like, Ugh, like or you know, what about eating healthier makes you like kind of, I don't want to do that. And I think when, when you really reflect on it and you kind of notice the real reasons why you don't want to do it, which is probably maybe something in your thinking, oftentimes it looks, it, it'll look different. Like for example, for my client who realized that making YouTube videos was just overwhelming, then then what do you do when you're overwhelmed? You, you might slow down, you might take a step back, you might YouTube on how to make YouTube videos, you might practice, right? So instead of making yourself do the thing you don't want to do, and you realize, oh wait, it's overwhelming, then forcing yourself no longer makes sense. And I think that's the problem because I think forcing yourself to do things you don't want to do in the long run just isn't helpful. And it requires so much more effort than, than is actually needed. Did you ever notice that things that you actually want to do don't really require much effort? In fact, it might even be effortless, right? And so it's really about the way you're looking at it and just to notice that the things you feel like you need motivation to do, to notice what's your perception of that thing. Where is your thinking about that thing? I think lastly, the last point I would say is, is just how beautiful natural desire is and how guiding it is. Guiding, Ooh, good word. I think natural desires, they really guide you in a direction it is for, like, it might, it might not look exactly the way you want to go right now, but in the bigger picture, it's, it's on track. And you can really trust your natural desires to guide you in the right direction. And I think that's a real, that's, I just saw that fresh right now. You know that, how motivation is largely a part of what I want to do and what I think needs to be done. Where natural desire is what kind of oftentimes what needs to be done right now, even if it's to do nothing and take a break and rest. That's so cool. Thank you for, for letting me have this conversation with you. And I just had that cool insight. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's really cool. Well, if you're up for a challenge and you want something to do, I would say just notice the areas in your life where you're trying to motivate yourself to do something that you don't really want to do. And then slow down, just take a step back, reflect on where, where is your natural desire guiding you to do? What, what just naturally feels like I, I want to do that and I don't have any thinking around it. And just go do it and see what happens and come back and comment on what you, what you see or what you create. Thank you so much for listening and I hope this was, and if this was useful, tell a friend. All right. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.